than two miles south of the United States Capitol. Welcome to Nationals Park. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. Almost ready to get underway. Starting on the mound in this one, Josiah Gray. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And a pitch. Close, but call the ball. And yeah, that's ball one. Man, first pitch of the day, and the zone's already tight. Not even close there. And now 2-0. And there's a strike. Really good cutter that he's Two able to front one. door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And he's winning the mix. Threw that fastball right Two by him, slightly Two elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The 2-2 two -two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at-bat alive. And there's a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Here's Turner now. Turner batting second in today's lineup. A former first-round pick back in 2014. towards left center and that'll fall for a base hit so a man aboard now with one away that ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily I mean it's a tough play going back for the shortstop but also for the outfielders trying to come in they got to go a long way as well and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion Bryce Harper the next to hit takes ball one Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Runner on the goal. And that one wrapped foul. Turner leads off first with one away. Runner goes again. The one one is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. <laughs> Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. The kick of the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out, and it's safe. It's a stolen base. That 
that was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one ball, it's no one surprise strike. they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. On the ground to first, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Phillies strand one. Now it'll be Washington's turn. It's a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Washington, D.C. And starting this one, Zach Wheeler. What's the scouting report on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance. Man, it's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Line and a base hit into right, and a board on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit that right there. there. Just a solid no, right swing right there. Got it out of line and lifted into the outfield no, no, no. for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Lane Thomas. In there at the knees for a strike. Next offering upstairs. And yeah. that's in for a strike. With two strikes, may see One some ball. movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The one two. Got him! And that's the first out. Oh, knocked him up with the cover on the outside right there. And I gotta think he was looking that middle happened. in because no he one. just couldn't pull the trigger. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming yeah. in, you've got to be ready to swing it. That time it cut to the outside part of the plate and he just couldn't pull the trigger. Here's Jesse Winker. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Pitch out, but no action. Man at first, one away. Wheeler with a throw over. There goes the runner. There's the ball. Throw, tag, ow! A bullet from JT Real Muto. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. And the count's full. That one 95 to finish him off. But inning of the books, no score here on the show. Second inning set to go. And here is Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm.
Gray back to work. And a foul ball. And the pitch. That's and it skips in the dirt. Wouldn't All chase two. that time. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. This is Bryson's stop. Ball one there. there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. And yeah, that's outside. Ball two. inside second inning here no score outside and that is ball four and he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game runner on at first with one gone and digging in for Philadelphia JT Real Muto and ball one to go. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And that's in for a strike. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Next well, offering is outside. He delivers. Bows it back with two strikes. Now move to first. No, Stop. Safe. Dives back in safely. Two two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Here comes a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And another ball. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Got him! He didn't make it. 
it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Swings and misses. Going one. All one's the count. The pitch. Run around the move. One and one. They pitch out. Going to sink it out there. And that ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly and a strike down the second base to end the inning. And welcome back to the ball. Bottom half of inning number two. And now, Joey Meneses. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Not a good The first base hit. Here's Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. There's a strike. Left hand batter waits. Looks like extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Manessis headed for the plate. The relay. But it's off the line. He will score. On the board first, it's one zip. Back to back base hits. You connect when it jumps off your back like that. You're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on him, man. He wasn't fooled at all. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now up for Washington, Hebert Ruiz. That's in for a strike at 95, 0 and 1. Man at second. And there's a foul ball. Pitch. Cold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Eddie Rosario. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Fouled off, he was late. Runner at second here, one gone. swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. One gone runner at first. And now it's Luis Garcia. 
That one at 95 missed up top. Ball one. Rosario stands at first with one out. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Kicks and deals. That one misses. And now 3-0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And that's too high, ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Next to hit, Trey Lipsko. That's in there. Strike one. Two runs across in the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. And it's strike two. Oh, two with the count. Kicks and fires. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. So the batting order turns over. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Fought off foul. That's outside. Ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. Corners are occupied with two down. the inning and they limit the damage but two runs for them and they jump ahead we head on now to the top of the third it's the nationals two and the phillies nothing back here in nationals park top half of the third inning here's the left fielder brandon marsh why the kick the pitch not close with that one, and it's 1-0. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you yeah. just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And he deals. Well. One fouled off, two and two. On the ground, and it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second, and that rolls into the corner. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. He was late there, strike one. On one.
Slap the other way, foul. That misses. One and two to count. With the tying run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. This one in the air center field. Rosario racing in towards the infield. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one away. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. Struck out swinging his first time. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Ball played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Pitch misses there, and it's 2-0. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out, is he going to get a pitch to hit? in safely. Tying run at the plate. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Phillies fans want a strikeout. Bounce that off to the left and we'll do it again. The 2 2 on the way. Battling here as he fouls it away. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. The pitch. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Trey Turner at the plate. And he's already singled in this game. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The shortstop takes the ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball two. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed, you know? Getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. That one lifted to left. Winker heads towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. One left for Philadelphia. They trail things here 2-0. Set for the bottom Leading of the third. Up, up now for Washington, Lane the Thomas. Right Thomas. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. Stott over to first in time. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next to hit for the Nats, Jesse Winker. He's 0 for 1. That's towards center. Rojas flashes the leather on the run and catch. Now, now the, the designated, designated hitter, hitter, Joey. Next to hit, Man Joey Meneses. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Takes the corner. It's 0 and 1. Two out spaces empty. Two down, nobody on. 
in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. That's inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two outs. Helpful. Side pitch got the better of him that time. Nationals go quietly, but they hold the two nothing lead. And we're back. Leading off and now off here field. is Harper. The first base is right. right. Harper. The line of the pitch. Just Ball missed. Ball one, no strike. The one one. Ripped on a line to center. Rosario makes the catch. And there's one away. The right Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Goal for one. He grounded out in his first at bat. Nope. Just oh. missed. Base is empty oh. one away. Top half of inning number four. And ball another right ball. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. And now it's Alec Bohm. Struck out swinging his first time. And a swing and a line drive in a right field. Base hit! Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Waste no time there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Making the move at first. Coming in as the pitch runner, Edmundo Sosa. Number 33. Runners at the corners here. One away. So digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryson stop. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Two on, one out. And that one is inside ball one. Next offering is downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. At the belt and fires. And fouled off. Castellanos on third. Sosa over first with one away. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. 
Three ball, two strikes. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Payoff pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Dunks one into left. In to score from third. And they trail by one. Big time at bat right there. Comes the through and they're back big within team. a run. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. First and second, one out. And now for the Phillies, JT Real Muto. That misses the zone, one and oh. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Just oh, off the back. inside edge. Oh, it looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Runners at first and second with one gone. One down, Phillies down a run. In the air to left center, Rosario sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. Now that the left hand brand new. More. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Doubled in his first A.B. That misses off the outside edge. And another ball. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That's a slider for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Makes the grab, and that will end the unit. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ladies now into the game, Edmundo Sosa. He's the new third baseman. Now playing third. Well, one run game. And now up for Washington, Joey Gallo. One for one with a double and a run score. And the right hander back to work. Just missed. And now it's even up. Ball, one strike. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. to the play. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, now it. And it. now it's Kieber Ruiz. Went down Ruiz. looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And that's inside, off one. the inside edge. And that is ball one. Aye. Outside corner, there's a strike. One ball, one strike. Pitch is in there. Gonna count one and two. Right 
and that's a base hit. Number eight. Man, Ziggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Now at the plate, Eddie Rosario. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two now, and One that's ball, in the dirt. Two strikes. And the righty deals. Eight. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Now it's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. That one blasted deep to right. just sounded different and yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet man my ears are ringing I can feel that swing from the boot well he went up there oh oh looking to do damage I think he had a sight set on that pitch he went and got it and circled the bases Trey Lipscomb digging in for the Nationals First nope, offering and it just misses. Ball one, no strike. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in. And we're here at the bottom of the fourth. And it's fouled away. And now two and one. Chop back up the middle. Stop. That's the inning. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Gray back to work. Just oh. off the outside edge. And that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Kyle Finnegan looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. And the 1-0. Ripped on the ground a second. Whips it to Gallo. Oh. One away here in the fifth. Couple of pitches and a quick now out. Now. The designated hitter, Kyle, Kyle. Schwarber. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber digs in now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Look off balance that time. One ball, two strike.
One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. And misses inside. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Winker should have it. And makes the grab. And there are two outs. Last chance for the Phillies. Trey Turner now. One for two. And that one pulled foul. Two down, nobody on. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. This could end it. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball, two strikes, the count. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. He was all over now, that one. Right. Anytime you rip a line drive the other right. way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great no, work right there. Know. Gray checks over to first, and he's back. You know, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. One Bryce Harper to the plate and a pitch out, but nothing going on. Turner off of first with two away. Next Whoa, pitch is outside, down. and the count is 2 and 0. Oh. Well, just about to hit that century mark 100 pitches for this game. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Hey. And that wraps it up for this afternoon. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For the victorious Washington Nationals, four runs on six hits, no errors, they left two runners on base. For Philadelphia, one run on six hits, no errors, they left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 52 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.